Hey everyone, my name is Scott. I'm the founder and author of Sandspotter.com, and I'm here in Taipei this morning to catch Starlux Airlines flight number 721 down to Penang, Malaysia. Spoiler alert, this ended up being the most depressing airline review I've ever done. Today is February 28th, 2020, and thanks to the coronavirus, Starlux isn't doing so well. They're down to just one daily flight now, and who really knows how long they can keep that going. See what I mean about this being depressing? I'm flying business class today, which means that I get access to the cozy but well-stocked Galactic Lounge. As you can see, there's a fairly decent spread of food in here, but what fun is that when you know that all the employees know that they are on the brink of unemployment? I'm actually surprised that they weren't all hanging out by the alcohol. The food in here wasn't amazing or anything, and it was probably the smallest airline lounge that I've ever been in, but damn you coronavirus. Gate A8 is where the magic is happening this morning, and I was getting really excited about this until I walked through that door. Shouldn't there be, like, people here? Oh man, this really isn't looking good for Starlux. As I was walking around getting pics for my trip report, I couldn't help but to think that maybe I was going to have an entire A321 to myself today. It's kind of a weird feeling being both extremely excited and sad at the same time. Unfortunately for me, more people showed up just before they initiated the boarding process, and I wouldn't have an entire crew waiting on me, hand and foot, all the way down to Penang. Fortunately for Starlux, more people showed up. Dang it. This was supposed to be a fun and informative review of an exciting new startup airline that had the potential to be huge. Instead, it's turning into a weepy documentary of an airline on the brink of extinction. I hate when that happens. Fluffy pillows and blankets on a good-looking seat, and I'm liking what I see so far. Although, what do you suppose happens to all this stuff when an airline goes out of business? I know I should be rooting for their survival, but I'm calling dibs on these seats. Watch out, JetBlue. Looks like you've got some competition in the neon green pre-departure drink category. As I sat here in the worst man pose possible, sipping it all up, I couldn't help but to think that Starlux is the clear winner here. Can I call dibs on these noise-canceling headphones with the Starlux logo as well? These are pretty cool. Oh, and back to the review footage for a second. Here are the power and audio ports located just above my left shoulder. Today's flight time is around 4 hours 30 minutes and we'll be cruising around 34,000 feet. Another spoiler alert, the food here in Starlux business class is... was... incredible. Of course, I had no idea as I was sitting here looking at the menu for the first time, but it was probably the best thing about the entire Starlux experience. Another thing that I really like about Starlux is their branding. The whole galactic vibe is fun and unique, and man, why do all the good airlines have to die? You know what this world needs? A comprehensive Starlux review in the way that only trips with Rory could do it. 
I'm just glad I beat him to it, since I was able to call first dibs on the seats. Because, you know, I'm greedy like that. As much as I hate to think that Starlux Airlines' days are numbered, it's hard not to feel like I'm having a really good time up here. And just for the record, I wasn't the only one having a good time today. Every single Starlux employee I had encountered up until this point had been extremely happy and helpful. Okay, so when's the last time you've been on a flight where the cabin crew handed out decks of playing cards? I can't say that I was tempted to initiate a friendly game of poker with my seatmate to see if maybe I could score a second pair of those cool noise-canceling headphones. The appetizer. Pickles and cheese on a stick and a cheese-filled pastry. Sorry. There's probably a really fancy name for all this stuff, but <laughs> you know that I ain't fancy. As depressing as this Starlux review has been so far, I have some really good news. This lunch entree was probably the best business class meal that I have ever been served. Complimenting the meal was this mint-flavored cocktail, which, quite frankly, kicks the crap out of the mint drinks that JetBlue is serving these days. Dessert was okay, and, well, JetBlue's got nothing to worry about here. And yes, I do realize that JetBlue and Starlux are not direct competitors. However, Starlux does have a very JetBlue feel to it, so that's why I keep making the comparison. And, just like on JetBlue, I still don't know how to look cool stowing a tray table. It may be hot and steamy inside this airplane, and I most certainly don't need this blanket, but I'm gonna demonstrate it anyway, since I know that's what Neil from the Moments in the Sky YouTube channel would do, and I want to be like Neil. <music> to kick off the Lou review, I need to offer a huge apology to my seatmate. I'm sorry for tripping all over you as I try to get out into the aisle. And... I promise to wash my hands good to prevent spreading deadly coronavirus germs. Just a minor adjustment here, and uh, yeah, that's nice. What else is nice is basically this entire experience so far. As long as I don't think about the impending demise of this airline, I think I'm good. We're landing already? As much as I was looking forward to visiting Malaysia for the first time, getting stuck in a holding pattern for an hour or five wouldn't have been a problem for me. A pre-landing snack to officially end the in-flight service. And would you look at that? A star to represent Starlux Airlines. God, I hope this airline survives. Okay, here's where things get a little bit depressing again. As of March 8th, Starlux has officially dropped this route to Penang due to low demand, which is unfortunate because, well, just look how beautiful this place is. Welcome to Penang. Although that's not something you'll get to experience on Starlux anymore, do have hope that they can hold on long enough to survive the coronavirus situation. This was a fantastic experience, but wow, what an unfortunate time to be launching a new airline.
regular viewers of my videos know that the unbuckling of my seatbelt upon arrival can only mean one thing. Gushy and heartfelt shoutouts to my amazing patrons, of course. To Joshua Bedell and Riley Wingo and everyone else, I love you guys. A brief temperature check is how this video ends, but don't you worry. I passed that, I'm healthy, and <coughs> I'll <coughs> catch you in the <coughs> next one. <coughs> 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 <coughs>